What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Panda here, and I am back with another video for Knighthood. Guys, yesterday I put out that Dark Tour hype video. Today, that event, Dark Tour, is out. It is out for one month 31 days to be specific um if you look here in this right little area here you'll see live event 30 days 20 hours because it's been live for roughly four hours um go, well going on four hours here four hours and 45 minutes to be specific um and if you click this little thing it's they, they do this great thing where they just show you everything just right off the bat, they show you everything you, you're going to get. Uh, if you go to the What's On tab, we'll get into that. You'll see everything. But I want to first start on this event of what the rewards are that you're going to be getting. So as you can see here, I've already gotten 2,500 or so of these event points. 2,536 to be specific. Um, and you get certain rewards once you reach uh, certain levels. So uh, if we look here for 3,000 event points, we're going to get the Dark Tour chest, which has a chance to give us Garen event points and all of these other heroes um even ooh, even legendary heroes too um epic heroes um sorry unique heroes my bad unique heroes is the yellow um but yeah so this is basically just it's a hero chest basically um with a chance at garen and event points as well uh, so you'll get that at 3,000. At 6,200, you'll get 500 gold. At 9,600, you'll get 10 Garen shards. At 13,200, you'll get a limited edition blue piece. Uh, I believe this is the pr the purest set. Yep, this is the purest set. Um, so these are actually really important because you actually need to be wearing three pieces of the purest armor in order to get all of the um, rewards for the roaming monster, which we'll, we'll talk about in a little bit. At 1,700, you'll get one of these chests once it opens which is just a basic equipment chest um which has of course all your your normal equipment in it okay um at 2100 you'll get a thousand gold at 2520 you'll get another dark tour chest at 29600 you'll get 10 more garen shards at 342 you get another piece of gear at 39k you'll get 50 gems at 4400 you get this bad boy right here which i think looks pretty cool if i'm being honest it's a pretty nice little cosmetic thing um look at that oh oh it's so cool i actually really like that i'm really excited to get that uh, but that is your unique face piece at 49.2 you get 15 more shards of garen so at this point you're already gonna have what 20 no 10 20 35 shards right 35 shards of him um, so pretty good on him at 54 6 you're gonna get a blue piece at 62 you're gonna get another dark tour chest piece at 66 you're getting 5k gold at 72 you're getting Garen pieces at 78 2 you're getting another blue piece at 84 6 you're getting uh, legendary shard dust which allows you to buy the legendary heroic chest from Hilder and Hyder high ridge i haven't actually gotten there yet so i don't know if that just like guarantees you a, a legendary out of a box i'm assuming but i'm not sure if you guys know hit it up in the comments at 91 2 you get another dark tour chest at 9800 you get another piece of purist armor at 105 10 thousand gold at 112 2 another dark tour at 119 6 you'll get the unique shard dust and then at 125 you will get the limited edition shield of the pure cape which looks bad ass oh this sh I, i'm a i'm like i'm i'm weak for shields i really like really cool shields um i used to play world of warcraft and like i played a paladin for a long time and shields were like the shit oh Shields are my, my bread and butter, guys. This looks so cool. I will definitely be wearing this. I contemplated just getting this and, and selling it because that's a lot of money. But I don't know, man. This looks real good. It looks real good. We'll see if I break down and I sell it for that 262,000 gold, I think it is. Um, but, guys, these are great rewards. We're getting a lot of chests. We're getting about, uh, I think it was about, what, almost 20,000 golds. Like, like let's see, 15... 
um, 16, 16, five gold just from, just from this right here, just from this, this event right here, not including the side quests you have access to and other things like that. But let's head into what's on. So what's on in here, you have access to all of these little areas. You have the portal, which we'll talk about last. Uh, you have roaming monster hunting Caligo, which he's currently away. He spawns every four hours. If I remember correctly, I believe that's the information I was given. So he spawns every four hours so you want to try to be on so you can get him uh down uh and then a glass tin is the guild boss which if your guild is not doing this guild boss definitely do this guild boss when he dies everyone who hit him gets five thousand event points which is a big chunk of event points so definitely make sure your guild is doing this um if your guild is not find yourself a new guild and or tell them to do this guild boss then you have side stories daily tasks and event chests so we'll go in here we'll start in the daily tasks. so this is your normal daily tasks when you complete your daily tasks you normally get gems well now you're also going to be getting a 500 event points okay this is not terrible this is a pretty good little you know start to it um just do your basic stuff that you normally do um like i'm already done here o almost already done here sorry um so you'll be able to get 500 event points every day for that not too shabby um and then we have the side story which if we come over here it should take us straight to the side stories we'll scroll down here i've already done the first one uh which didn't give us much but here is the second one beware dark tour we have to defeat 10 enforcers 10 archers and inquisitor vitiosis which i believe is the last boss which gives you a thousand points and five garon pieces um and it'll go on further and we'll get more and more of these as we go um if you guys have the next step in this if you guys can maybe hit me up on discord with the list i would like to make a guide with like what every step is so you guys can be prepared but unfortunately i won't have that information until i've completed those steps so if you guys have access to these steps please let me know so that i can make a video that'd be fantastic hit me up with a comment down below or um you know hit me up on discord as well um and then the last thing we want to talk about is the portal now the portal is pretty controversial um in my opinion because it's pretty difficult to clear um, I am like level almost level 29 um, which means I have access to level 25 but guys I cannot fight this level 25 because everything's level 30 as you can see I'm like super dead but when I come into here into the level 15 one I can clear it relatively easy it's not super difficult for me to clear it um, I'm able to clear it relatively quick I just go ahead and I put on my cult weapon um, and I bring Titania nope that's not Titania my bad. Um, I bring Titania and Anara, and I just heal through everything. Um, and I just slowly burn down everything, and it, it's it's pretty basic. It's not super simple. Uh, or it's not super difficult, rather. It is very simple. Um, so I'm able to come in here real quick. Um, I do want to talk about um, what you get for each person, say. So in here, you have archers, which give 10 points. Um, your alchemists give 15 points. Your swordsmen give 20 points. Your archers give 30 points. Your enforcers give 60. And the final boss gives 120. Now, keep in mind, these are the base points, all right? Which means that when you go into each thing, you get additional points. So when I go into here, I get 20% additional points, uh, which means that I'm going to be getting more points for here. So this one, right, for Militia Archer, instead of 10, I'm going to get 12 uh for alchemists instead of 15 i'm gonna get you know i don't know 18 ish something like that um actually yeah exactly 18 what am i thinking exactly 18 points here we'll get 24 etc etc okay um so you're gonna get slightly more points based off where you are if you're obviously level 45 you probably aren't really watching this info because you probably already know what you're doing because you played winter tide but um you know at this point just do whatever you can reliably do okay um i went in here and saw that i was on red over here and i was like i'm not even gonna try um and then i thought oh well maybe i you know maybe Maybe the points because it's additional uh, percentage maybe even if I clear halfway through it it'll be more points it's not guys I cleared all the way to the last boss I had one minion in the boss left and 
the boss gives the most points. So if you can't kill the boss, it's not worth doing the stage. In my personal opinion, from what I've seen so far, um, I went in to the level 15 stage and I cleared it twice. And both times I got right around 700 points. Uh, when I did the level 25, like I said, I got every to everywhere except the final boss killed and one minion. And um, I got like 380 so almost almost half of the points um, were lost just by trying level 25. So definitely just do whatever level you can do. If you guys are level 10, do the f level 5. If you're level 20-ish to 30-ish, do level 15. Uh, if you're 30, 30 to 40, do 25. Kind of just base it on what you've got, right? Um, obviously, this may change because maybe you're level 30, but you're also a whale or a light spender, and you have level 30 heroes well that's going to change you know the game right um i actually just recently got my first uh rank up on a hero i took titania to the next rank so i can get her to level 25 uh, so once i get the experience that may um that may allow me to do the level 25 because her heals will be better um but we will see so if you look here you'll see that i ranked her up so i can actually get her to level 25 now um which is awesome but i need lots of experience for that so not going to happen right now, but whew, I just got off work, guys. I'm a little tired, but I had to make this video for you. But, guys, that's pretty much all the basics of the event. Um, I do want to make a more in-depth uh, detail of, like, what to do on a daily basis. Um, but I'm probably not going to be able to do that until tomorrow. So, I'll give you a real quick rundown of what my suggestions are. First suggestion is do all your dailies like normal. If you're not doing them, you're missing out. If you're free to play and you're not doing them, you probably shouldn't be playing the game because that's kind of the obvious thing to do as a free-to-play player. So definitely do your dailies like you normally would. Get all the points you can for free, okay? Uh, second thing is try to be on as often as possible to do the roaming monster. Um, I think that even if you can't clear the roaming monster with all of the things, that it's probably worth it. Um... I haven't seen the roaming monster myself, so I, I, don't, I don't know for sure, um, but I would assume that you get a good chest from it that gives you stuff in the regarding the events. I don't know, um, but definitely try to do the roaming monster as often as possible with as many of the things, um, like the special conditions as possible, all right? Um, the next piece of information is if you're not already in a guild, uh, get in a guild and make sure it's doing this guild's uh, boss. If you are in a guild and it's not doing this guild boss, tell them, hey, we need to do this guild boss. It gives a lot of event currency. If they're not willing to do that, find yourself a new guild uh, and do that guild boss in that new guild. If you guys want to join my guild, we are going to be making a second guild here soon, um, and we will be able to bring in a couple extra people that way. So just in the description below, click the link to the Discord. Uh, choose your role for knighthood and uh, talk in that chat over there, and we'll get you situated. Uh, then last thing I would say is to just do all of your attempts daily in um, whatever you know event you are, uh, whatever tier you can do for the event uh, portal. Now, the portal is only open on the weekends. Uh, you could do three attempts or four attempts per day. My recommendation here, guys, is try to do them closer to the end of the day. The reason why I say this is because maybe by the time you hit the end of the day, you'll be just strong enough that you're able to do that next uh, that next difficulty, right? Um, like, I'm sitting at level 28. So maybe, just maybe, if I grind pretty hard today and I get to level 35 and I get some armors up and stuff, I might be able to get to there. Am I going to? No, that's not going to happen. But there's a small potential, you know, that, that we're able to get that done. Okay, so just keep that in mind um, that, you know, you go ahead and you go in there and you get as much as you can done in there, kill all the enemies, um, and hopefully you'll get lots of points. All right, guys, that is going to be it for me today, guys. I'm really hyped for this event. Let's get all the things we can done done. And obviously, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, that's cool too. Hit the dislike button. If you want to talk or have questions, comments, or concerns, put them down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more content from me, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell icon. Do keep in mind that when we hit 500 subscribers, I will be doing that gem giveaway. And in order to be a part of it, you are going to have to be a subscriber on the channel. So if you aren't already, subscribe. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.